Now I wanted to make a quick video on how you can install Raspberry Pi OS on a Compute Module 5 with an eMMC storage on it. Now for the Compute Module 5 Lite version which does not have an eMMC storage, you can flash the OS on an SD card and then plug in the SD card into the I.O. board. Now for the CM5 module with the eMMC storage, the flashing process is a little bit different and we will look at how we can do this on Windows, Linux as well as on Mac OS. So let's get started. Firstly, we need to connect a jumper in order to disable booting from the eMMC module. Once you connect the jumper, the board becomes ready to flash to the eMMC module. Now on Windows, you need to download this RPI boot installer and then click on the setup. Once you click on next, then it will open up these command windows in order to install the required drivers. Now this window will open multiple number of times, but once it finishes, click on next and then the setup gets completed. Then click on the start menu and then search for CM4, CM5, mass storage gadget. Click on that and this will open a command window. Once it shows this message for waiting for the device, you connect the I.O. board to the computer and then this red light turns into green once it starts flashing the required binaries on the eMMC module. It will then remain in green and then you will get to see the storage in your computer. Then open up the RPI flasher, select the OS that you want and then select the storage that is the eMMC module. Click on next and then this will flash the OS on the eMMC module. Now let's go ahead and look into how we can do this on a Linux machine. Now firstly I use the apt install command to install the RPI boot but then I saw that this installed an older version that is from January 2022. So then I opened the github repository of Raspberry Pi and opened the USB boot repository. Now here you have all the commands required to build the RPI boot binary wherein first of all it installs the required USB binaries and then downloads the github repository and builds the RPI boot binary. Now once the RPI boot starts up, it will wait for the device and when you connect the device, it will fail with this error. This is because it does not find the required binaries to be flashed onto the eMMC module. So then you need to provide this minus D option with this mass storage gadget 64 folder that is present inside the github repository. Make sure to run it with sudo and this will then wait for the device and once you connect the device, it will then start flashing the required binaries. And once it finishes, the drive is then available as you can see on the left hand side here. Now open the Raspberry Pi flasher, select the OS that you want, then select the mounted eMMC module and then click on next and then apply the customizations and then this will write the OS on the eMMC module. Now let's go ahead and look into how we can do this on a Mac OS. Now on the Mac OS, you need to build the RPI boot binary using the source. So for this, you need to open this GitHub link and then copy this command and paste it into the terminal. This will actually download the GitHub repository and the required binaries and build the RPI boot binary. Now once you start the RPI boot, it will wait for the device and once you connect the I.O. board, it will fail with this error because it does not find the required files to flash. So you have to provide the minus D and mass storage gadget 64 folder which is present inside the github repository. Once you specify this and run the command and connect the board, this will then flash the required image on the eMMC storage. Now once you do that, open the Raspberry Pi imager, select the OS and then after that select the eMMC storage, click on next, apply the OS customizations and then this will flash the OS on the eMMC storage. Now after flashing the OS, make sure that you remove the jumper that disables booting from the eMMC before you power the board. Now I will provide all the links as well as the commands in the article that I will link into the description below. Now if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button as well as hit that subscribe button for more such videos to come. Till then, take care and I will see you in my next one.